Morbius appeared first as an antagonist in The Amazing Spider-Man in 1971 and eventually evolved into more of an anti-hero. If you're gonna run, do it now. For years before that, Marvel was actually forbidden from using characters considered more on the supernatural side. So it was a really big deal when Morbius finally made his debut. There's something inside of me that wants to hunt and consume blood. He was part of a much darker turn within Marvel, one that, fortunately, fans fully embraced. After all, everyone loves a good monster story. There's something about the character that stoked people's imaginations. It really can grab a hold of you. Johnny! It certainly did with me. See you in theaters. Hey everybody, welcome to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk all major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. As you just saw in this newest featurette for Morbius, where Jared Leto even explains a little bit about the character, there's a lot more than meets the eye with Morbius, and I'm very excited for this film to finally drop. Currently has a release date of April 1st, and we'll cross our fingers and pray that that sticks. But at the very end of the featurette, we get an update that says, final trailer, Monday. So few days from now, we will be getting the final look at Morbius. Now, it seems like a lot of these final trailers that we're getting recently are giving us a much better look at the plot, whereas majority of these first teaser trailers, quick looks, aren't necessarily telling us what's happening in the story. Then we get the final trailer, and with all the other information, we can kind of piece together what exactly we should be expecting. I would say with Morbius, although it's probably to some essence a predictable storyline, there are a lot of hidden details that we haven't seen. A lot of questions that haven't been asked because we don't know to ask them yet. So I'm hoping with this final trailer we'll get a little bit of an idea of what universe we live in, or whether or not we should be expecting any other characters to make an arrival, even if it's just a tease or a hint. We did see in the very first long trailer for Morbius at the very end when they said, who are you? He responded with, I'm Venom. And we also saw that they mentioned this is the craziest thing to happen since that freak in San Francisco, which again is another reference to Venom. One could only assume that this is the same Venom, Tom Hardy's Venom, from the Sony Pictures universe, and that would put Morbius in that world, which makes the appearance of Michael Keaton even more confusing and raises a lot of questions as to whether or not this is a different Michael Keaton character, a different variant of that same character from the MCU, or if somehow he figured out time travel slash multiversal travel and has now arrived in the Morbius world. I'm still trying to figure out where exactly Morbius fits into the big picture, but I do think after Spider-Man No Way Home, with the amazing success of the characters individually, including Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire, and some of the villains who made their way back on screen, Sony's looking to head off on their own and continue their own storyline in their own world. So not necessarily trying to connect Morbius to the MCU, which is what it originally appeared like, but maybe trying to bring Andrew Garfield in in order to allow him to be in the Sony world, which would allow him to fight Venom, which we've established lives in the same universe in Venom 3 or in The Amazing Spider-Man 3, depending what direction they want to go with that. One thing's for certain, Morbius looks like it will be a lot of fun, it'll be creepy, it'll be dark. Jared Leto seems to have done a fantastic job with this role. I know coming off of the Joker role in Suicide Squad, he's gotten a lot of backlash, but I don't think that was necessarily all his fault, and he definitely could have done something really special with that character under different circumstances. Regardless, be excited for Monday when we get the final trailer for Morbius. It's going to be hopefully a big one, it's going to be exciting, and it should get us all really interested for when April 1st rolls around, giving us the new movie, Morbius. Thank you guys so much for watching the featurette and watching till the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our daily updates happening right here on Cosmic Culture.